Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got another one here from Hair of the Dog. I think Matt sent this to me. Uh, they're out of uh, uh, Portland, Oregon. That's what it says here. This is the Adam. And which, uh, the Adam is a hearty old world ale. And this is another bottle condition beer. I think uh, they, they do a lot of bottle condition stuff out there. Especially this brewery in particular. And this is another 10 percenter. So this is a nice sipper on a nice cold evening, which is what we're having here in Virginia today. I hope Santa Claus brought everybody everything that they wanted. Uh, when you see this beer, it'll be the day after Christmas. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing this one. I've had this one. He, uh, Matt sent me these. I'm pretty sure he did. Uh, six eight months ago and I've had it uh, cellaring in the fridge for that length of time the only plus I can say about these guys they don't put a year uh, when they do these beers on the label so uh, they, they may have that information on their website I'm not sure I did not go to their website uh, I very rarely do unless I need to get some additional information but uh, I wish they would go ahead and step up to the plate and put those on the big beers like this, the day and the month is not that important, but the year is. So kind of want, would like to know that information. My opinion, just my opinion now, guys. And this is, like I said, a hearty, hearty world, old world ale. It says, Hair of the Dog Brewing Company produces bottle conditioned beers which improve with age. We are dedicated to providing the beer lover with the new and unusual beer styles. Adam is made with Northwest hops, which are very nice and pungent as far as I'm concerned. They, they grow some great hops out there. Organic Pilsner malt and a variety of specialty grains. True flavors in this beer have been compared to chocolate, smoke, leather, and figs. Brewed in loving memory of Adam Kerchivio. Kerchivio, 10-30-69, January 26 05 brewer and friend so we salute him with this beer as, as they do uh, I'm looking forward to doing this one uh, we did the uh, Fred uh, yesterday and uh, we're doing the Adam today uh, that's the only two of the hair of the dog beers that uh, was sent to me and uh, the other one yesterday was very very tasty it got a 9 out of 10 I'm hoping this one's going to live up to that and be just as good if not better got our fingers crossed here so, uh, commercial description. Uh, Adam is a recreation of a historic beer style originally made in Dortmund, Germany, and was the first beer ever released from this brewery. He, <coughs> he is made, uh, not it, he is made with Northwest hops, organic pills and malt, and a variety of specialty grains. The beer is rich and smoky with notes of chocolate and dark fruit, best served as a dessert beer. So if you don't have this beer with a food pairing, uh, like for dinner, like with big dishes, stronger dishes, this is made for after dinner as an aspartif. It is great with cigars, which I plan on mm -hmm. having one while I do this beer uh, and sip on it, and or just as a warm fire and good company. Well, we're going to fire up the gas logs and fire up a cigar and sip on this beer for a while. What do you think about that, guys? Sound like a good plan? Yeah, I think so, too. All right, guys, let's get on with this one. Uh, we'll go over to the food pairings. The food pairing for this one is your typical cheeses of buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, and Swiss. And it has general uh, digestive for the, the, the rest of it. No meat or, or other pairing, food pairings are listed here on this one. The glassware is a pint, Becker, the Nonic Tumbler, the Stifter, the oversized wine glass. I've got the Stifter again today for this beer since it's a 10 percenter. And this beer can be sold for extended periods, being that big of a beer and not a hot forward beer. So, let's see what kind of hits we get on this one. 
Uh, not quite as big as the one we did on Free Edge yesterday. But still a very nice hiss. And like I said, uh, this this is a little bit of a darker beer looking through the bottle. So I'm not going to pour it too aggressive since it's uh, oh, it doesn't look like Let's go down the center. All right. Not quite a thick sediment in the bottom of this one as the other one. Just a little bit though. It's still got some in there. But it's hard to see when it's this dark as opposed to the, the lighter colored one we did yesterday. Over into the light. Oh, there is not much at all. I'm not even getting any ruby red tinges around the outside. This much looks a lot like a stout as far as looking. No. And you can see it poured basically no head at all. It's, it, there is none on the top of the beer. So, very surprised for a bottle conditioned beer. And then pour it down the center like I just poured this one, not to produce any head at all, not even one covering the top, but it is not. It has absolutely no head. So we'll swirl this around and see if we can generate a little bit of head on this one. And it's not generating a whole lot, just getting a slight covering on the top of the beer there. So let's get a nose on it, see what we got. Rich, roasty malt and dark fruit is what I'm getting. Figs, dates, raisins. Just a hint of some chocolate there. Very sweet smell. The IBUs on this beer is 50. Now that's liable to change a little bit as it warms up. It's right out of the bridge at 40 degrees, so the more the chocolate may come out as it warms up. It smells very wonderful in a glass. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Rich, deep roasted malt, bittersweet chocolate, maybe a little brown sugar, some licorice in there maybe. Wow, very tasty. These guys are doing some good stuff. This is the second bottle of the Hair and the Dog Brewery. The other one was pretty damn awesome. Not quite a 10 to me. This one could be. Just a hint of the alcohol, 10%, but it is a very well-made beer. Kind of complex, though. A lot of stuff going on in there. Chocolate. I could, I could even taste a hint of a little bit of coffee in there, too. Oh, yeah. That's delicious. They do some good stuff there. Like I said, I've only had two bottles. Did one yesterday, done this one today. Wow. A very good Christmas, Christmassy beer. Wow. Very tasty. A lot going on there. Chocolate, coffee, caramel, brown sugar, dark fruit. Wow. And that's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. So. You know what I'm going to say? Yep, we're going to let it warm up a little bit and let her taste it and see what she thinks of it. And we're going to sip on it, fire up a cigar and enjoy this beer and sip on it for a little while. And I'll come back and we'll do the final chug on this one and give you the final comments on it. Definitely looks like an A beer. Let's see what it gets. Stick around. All right, guys, I'm back. I've just a little left here. This is an awesome beer. Chocolate. Bittersweet chocolate. Dark fruit. Brown sugar. Raisins, plums, dates, a little bit of coffee, a little bit of licorice in there. Wow. Awesome beer. Very well made. The only fuss I've got is they don't put the year on the bottle. The IBUs I could deal with, but I would like to have that information too. So it's not a big deal to put that information on the label, in my opinion. So 
that's just my two cents, you know. That's just the way I feel about it, just my opinion. Let's do the final chug on this one. Wow. A great beer. An outstanding beer. Even though it doesn't have that information on it, guys, this is a 10. This is a very well-made beer, very tasty, very balanced. I'm not going to say easy drinking, but for a 10 percenter, the alcohol is fairly well masked. Wow, awesome beer. If you can get your hands on this one, you need to pick this one up. This is definitely a tasty beer. Definitely worth trying if you like this style of beer. The only like the only thing that I would add is to have the year the year on the on the bottle label when it was put in the bottle, so you know when it was put in the bottle to, to know uh, how long or, or, or whatever how or however you want to sell it, whether you want to drink it fresh or you want to sell it for five years or ten years to know, so you don't have to put a piece of masking tape on it or write something on the label of when you got it or when you think it was put in the bottle. So that's the only fuss I've got about this one and being a 10 percenter it's really not that critical. So I'm going to go ahead and instead of giving it to 9 I'm going to go ahead and give it to 10 because I think it's that that good of a beer. It, it is definitely a very tasty beer worth picking up. So uh, I wouldn't hesitate to say this is probably be in the top 10 list as far as a uh, old world ale. Especially for what I've had in 2013. So, guys, uh, that's where I'm going to leave it. Let's see what everybody else thinks about it. We'll go over to uh, Beer Advocate first. Um, it just disappeared. Don't you love electronics? All right, we'll go over to Rate Beer instead. Rate Beer says 100 overall and 100 in the style. I would agree with that. And let's see if I can bring Beer Advocate back up. Without too much ado, and see where we go with this. I won't keep you hanging on very long if it doesn't do it very quickly. We'll just skip that aspect of it. And let me punch it in again. Electronics, gotta love it. I mean, I went from paper to electronics uh, many months ago, and you touch the wrong button or hit something and it just goes haywire on you. Today would be nice. <laughs> All right. All right, we go over to uh, Beer Advocate, and Beer Advocate is telling me today would be nice. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. It's having this Christmas thing going on here. Beer Advocate says it is 95, which is world class. Uh, I think those numbers are just a little low, but it is a world class beer. It is definitely worth picking up and giving it a try if you can get your hands on this, this beer. Uh, they're out of uh, Oregon, so uh, unless, I don't know what the distribution is on this beer. Uh, how far it goes out from the brewery. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that Matt sent me this one, and uh, he's not over in Oregon. He's in uh, Minnesota or, or somewhere in that area. And uh, it's very tasty. I wish I could get this, this beer here in my area or get my hands on it. Uh, you would see it a lot more of this in the fridge. It's, it's very tasty, guys. So, uh, without flapping my gums and going on and on about this beer, I think it's a 10 as far as I'm concerned. Just would like to have that year on the label. So, if you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Whether you liked it or didn't like it. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe. And I hope Santa Claus was good to you and brought you everything you wanted. And I, I want. I want you to hit that like button, rate, comment, subscribe. And I want to go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. I hope you can join me then. See you.